after what's believed to be the largest local sweep of workplaces by immigration and customs enforcement agents since President Trump took office, many are now wondering what could come next. ABC 7 News reporter Chris Wynn has a story now from the South Bay. For immigration advocates, the search for clarity and understanding continues on. We're just being vigilant. Um, this is an immigrant community. So it hits home. Federal immigration agents visited 77 businesses across Northern California this week, demanding proof that their employees are legally allowed to work in the United States. Rosa De Leon volunteers with the Rapid Response Network in Santa Clara County, a community defense project which seeks to protect immigrant families from separation. They've been responding to a number of calls from those who are concerned about their employers being targeted, including at least one business in Santa Clara that was served with an I-9 audit notice the other day. We're making sure that these workers know what their rights are and have the legal support that they, that they need. In the city of Gilroy yesterday, multiple community members reported seeing what they thought were raids on local businesses. It's the first state to go sanctuary, so we're going to get hit. We knew that. The Department of Homeland Security did not return our request for confirmation, but city officials say they're looking into the matter on behalf of their residents. It has an impact on their state of mind, on their uh, just overall comfort, on, on even their quality of life. We want to have a trusting, positive relationship with not just our immigrant community, but with all citizens. Many are stressing the importance of not spreading rumors when it comes to sightings of ICE. We want our folks to ask, right, who saw this, what did they see, and um, call the hotline immediately so that we're able to dispatch um, rapid responders to, to confirm whether or not immigration enforcement is taking place in the community. In the South Bay, Chris Wynn, ABC 7 News.